Look at this. Just look at this. Oh, man. Can't believe the poor quality of this. Ford is very disappointing on their emblems. Happens a lot. Dang, let's replace this. Now, you'll see all kinds of videos out there saying pry that off. Or you have to take all this off. Some people show you to put a thing in here and pry it off. But what you need to do first is get your flashlight. Shine down in there and see what kind you got first. You'll see a little silver tab down in there. See them little silver tabs? You can't pry that off. They will break. So first get in there and take a look at what you got. Some will pry off because they're glued on into sticky backing. Some are put on by a little metal nut twisted onto a plastic um, stud. There'll be a plastic stud right behind here. I'll show you on the new one. Now, as you can see, new emblem. Bought this off Amazon, like 15 bucks. But this one comes, you peel this blue off, and it becomes a sticky back. So you can use the sticky back. You see right here, these studs. On the old one, they'll have a nut that threads onto these plastic studs. So therefore, you're not replacing the outer bezel. You're only replacing the emblem. So if you go putting something in there and prying that off, you can end up breaking the silver tabs that lock this bezel into place. So be sure to look down in there first, see what kind you got. Some of them are sticky back, depending on what year it was manufactured. Yes, yeah, the 2013, but depending on the assembly line, it could be the studs or the sticky back. So check first before you go putting some in there, prying that off, or you'll break those silver tabs and you have to buy a new bezel. We're trying to glue this piece back on. So let's uh, show you this here. We're going to undo these. That's a 10 millimeter nut. You're just going to slide this out. And you have access to those silver tabs and the little nuts. Okay, so as I said, remove these. Pull this out a little bit. Don't pull on it too hard you end up snapping something else pull out put your hand down in there and as you'll see here it's the little plastic tabs you see the way they're shaped you got like a little lip on it so the first set you got to push down because it's got pushed down on the bottom ones pop them out you'll see the top one is a push up so you can pop these two off here. This will make it loose. You can kind of just slide it right out of the tabs. So you can see the tabs. Once you get that off, you see these little nuts right here. Holding on to the studs. So just undo those. So let's do that now. So once again, these are also 10 millimeter. Just undo them from the studs. And that backing comes off. There you go. Got that backing. And there's the old one. There's a little plastic stud. A little metal nut. So now we'll get the new one. And this one, like I said, has a sticky back. So you can clean this up real well. And peel the stick, but then if you got to replace it again, you got to try and get all that sticky stuff back off, and you might end up breaking something. So I would just recommend using the two studs you originally had, stick it on there, and there you go. So there's the new one put on, all nice and shiny, and there's those little metal nuts on the plastic stud. So then you just Put your tabs, snap it back in there. I'm going to secure the top here first so we don't got no leeway and give. Hold on one sec. All right, everything's back in place. Everything's secure, nice and tight. So basically, like I said, you got your top and bottom tabs. Basically, just put it back in. Snap, snap. There you go. Ba-bam!
Now I got a nice new Ford emblem, which should have never happened in the first place. But you know, companies today are getting cheaper and cheaper with their stuff. Hope this helped you. Have a great one.